I first came across Ginger when I was in between safe houses visiting the dogs. I drove past and caught her out the corner of my eye and she had actually been dumped around the area, the same area as where I had rescued one of my previous dogs from. This is a pit bull that was abandoned and look, she's giving me her hand. Look, look, right? So, you know what? She's been used and abused and dumped. Um, I was on the way to the safe house and I visited the dogs and I came back and she was in exactly the same spot as when I first saw her and that's when I knew that she had been deliberately dumped there because people knew that I was rescuing dogs in that area. Courageous doing a skin scrape and look at her, she's such a sweetheart. Ginger was diagnosed with um, chronic skin issues. At first it was scabies, so she was treated for that. And then obviously we did an ultrasound and that's when discovered that she was pregnant and she was about two weeks from the date that she was rescued. When I rescued Ginger, she was an absolute sweetheart. There was no aggression in her. She just wanted to follow me willingly. I called her, I didn't know her name, I just called her and she came and I had to lift her into the car and then I drove an hour to the vet clinic to have her admitted and treated immediately. So I brought her into the safe house. We had to assess the situation and see how she was gonna handle being around other barley dogs and things like that. So in order to do that and keep the peace, we made a separate section for her and we also prepared an area for her to have her babies. It's been a very tiring day with transitioning um, Ginger into the safe house. You can see, you know, this is her little safe haven, so we've kind of fenced it off. She's very small for people. I believe that maybe she might have lived in a bit of a cage for a little while. I mean, she's a tired little girl. She's, she's very tired as well, you know, she's been on age and all that kind of stuff and being at the doctors, so... I expect her to take, you know, a couple of days just, just, just to settle in here and the process after that is for her to get used to the other dogs and the other dogs to get used to her, you know, so uh, I may have noticed that she probably responds to a male when it comes to being firm. Um, she probably responds a little bit more to a male than she does to a female, but I have to observe that. Uh, a little bit more so she's made this bed as hers now we haven't put you can see there's a blanket here I haven't put a blanket in here because it's quite hot so um, you know the staff are under instructions that if it gets cold at night then we put the blanket down otherwise if it's hot um, you know we've got the fan on her and stuff like that as well just to make her a little bit comfortable so it's not so hot yeah so it's just a, a waiting game now just to just to transition her in Okay, so guys, this is basically, oh dear, the second day that um, Ginger has been at the safe house. And I would say that the Provecto is working because she's just super, super itchy. She can't stop itching in the corner of thing. Anyway, this morning we spent um, basically socializing her with a few of the dogs in this particular area here, you see, in this particular area here. And she was quite calm and she was quite good, which is great. Um, she wasn't really snappy, I think she's relaxed a little bit more now. So really now it's just a waiting game of um, all her scabies to be healed and her skin infection to be healed. Um, hopefully this happens before the babies come. Ginger you know that this place is a good place. This place is outside and we want her to go to the toilet here and not look at it as every time she comes out here she's by herself, she's in trouble. So we're just trying to make it that little bit more interesting and nice for her to relax here and know that she can go to the toilet. Ginger! Ginger! Huh? Sit down. Thanks. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. Right? Want her to know that this particular spot here is okay, you know? It's not a punishment because I believe that she lived in that cage. So that's why she prefers to pee and poo in her safe place, basically. Ginger! You going around? Oh, good girl. Oh, Ginger! You spin around. She spins around in circles when she sees me. Ginger! Oh, you can't get there, darling. I know it's itchy. Okay, so guys, it's what's happening is it's really hot at the moment, so... We have a fan here on there just to keep her cool, uh, just to keep her comfortable, you know, I don't know, as a human, I've never been pregnant, but I'm just like, you know, imagine being 
pregnant, itchy, and hot at the same time. It, it must be just so uncomfortable. So, she's putting on weight already, like, um, two days ago I noticed that her spine was kind of, uh, you know, just kind of jutting out a little bit and stuff like that, and I just thought, you know, the weight that she's carrying underneath, she needs to put some more weight on so that she can support the whole thing. So she has put on a little bit more weight. Uh, we're just holding off on the bath at the moment. Uh, I'll either give it to her later today or she'll get it tomorrow, so we'll see. Guys, it's happening! Stay tuned! Another one! Wait, sorry. <laughs> hey, come on. Come on, little man. You see the one here? Took a little while to come out. And Ginger took a little while to... Took a little while to open up the sack, so... Any more, Ginger? Come on, sweetie. Going, going up high and like your brothers and sisters. I know I probably shouldn't be touching them and playing with them so much, but really what I want for her to do is to get comfortable with um, people touching her babies and touching her as well while this is happening. I mean, this means that this, to me, this is good. It means that she trusts, you know, she trusts me, which is good. And Yanto is saying that she was a little bit shy with him, so. Um, that's why it was really important for me to always be here for her and touch her and rub her belly, you know, massage her belly and stuff like that so she knows that I'm okay and I'm not going to hurt her anything. It was a couple of weeks later that um, she started to pop out her little babies and it was a first time experience for me. I had no idea what I was doing, but I helped her with the delivery. Initially, Ginger had four puppies. However, the fourth puppy, the last puppy that came out, didn't make it. I think she kind of knew that this puppy was a little bit weak and not strong enough to survive. And um, I was told that she actually sat on the puppy and the puppy passed away. Okay, so guys, this is Ginger. She decided to give birth over here. So... Um, about two hours later, I mean, she was shaking because she was actually cold and the bubbles were really cold too. So I picked them up all one by one and put them into this bed here that I made for her and straight away she followed. Now, she's very exhausted. We don't know actually if there's another bubble in there or whether it's just four and we're done. Uh, she's a very tired mama and she's a very good mama too. She's very protective. So what we basically have to do is section off the top part of this area here so that no dogs come through at all. She's quite, she's quite uh, rich here. Well, she has, she's very protective. So even if they're at the door, over here you'll see the gate, right? Even if they're there, she doesn't like it. So I'm not really gonna change that. Um, because she has to get used to the other dogs and the other dogs have to get used to her as well. She's just being protective of her babies, you know, which I don't blame her for. But, um, you know, this is new changes for her, so everyone has to adjust for her too. Now, we don't know if they're pit bulls yet, right? We don't know if they're pure pit bulls or they're mixed, but I will tell you that they came, some of three of them came out black. Three of them came out black, but that's not the colour that they are. So that's very interesting. We don't know if they're pit bulls yet. It's too young to tell. But I do know the sex of them all. Hey guys, this is so exciting, isn't it? Yay, Mama Ginger, Queen Ginger. She's a great mama, great. She lets me play with her babies, touch her babies, no problem. Um, I can touch her, I can massage her belly still. Um, you know, I move her babies without a problem, so... Uh, that's good news. Look at that little brown one. That little brown one is actually the biggest. And he's also the hungriest, you could say. I'm just glad that Ginger's scabies are gone.
Ginger then had to be admitted into the hospital because she stopped eating and she was becoming very weak. It was at that point that I decided she needed to go to the clinic with her babies. Now the clinic environment is not a safe place for babies and mamas, so they made a separate individual isolation section for her where they could keep an eye on her 24 hours and she was in the main upstairs room where the inpatient vets were working with all the other dogs and they could especially keep an eye on her. It was then discovered that Ginger actually had blood parasites and she had kept herself so strong until her babies were born and then once the babies were born that's when she started to kind of feel the effects of everything that was going on. So guys I don't know what time it is right now but it's in the night time and I decided for some reason that Ginger needed to come to the vet just to have a checkup because there's, there were a few things concerning me today and if anything is going to happen it's probably going to be calcium deficiency um, which can be problematic but um, now she's having an ultrasound down and she's having a complete checkup and the puppies are having a checkup as well just to make sure that everything's okay um, she may end up spending the night here and then I'll, I'll take her back to the safe house tomorrow because it's quite late at night now but here's the little bubbers. I'm babysitting the bubbers while Ginger's getting her ultrasound and everything done. Hey little bubbers. Look how big and round and fat they are. Tomorrow's gonna be one week for them and they're doing really well. And there's Mama and bringing her food healthy food that she can eat every day. Oh, Ginger, what are you doing? Don't make a mess. What are you doing? She's such a good mama. She's a really good mama. Hi. Hey. Hey, Papa. Drink, Papa. Your mama. Hey, Puppers. Oh, this is cute. Oh, you want to give me your hand? She's a good mama, yeah? Yes. Ginger ended up staying in the clinic for another two weeks. We had to be very careful with the treatment that she was given because the side effects could have been detrimental to her puppies. However, we were really fortunate in the fact that the babies didn't have any side effects. The worst that we were waiting for was maybe their teeth were going to go wrong or something, but the universe deemed it that her puppies were going to be safe from her treatment. Hi guys, so today I made the decision, I really don't want to show the video and photos of Ginger um, after her fight, um, but you know, her, her mouth has been really affected, um, she, you know, she's less swollen today. Now I decided today that it was time to separate her and the pups, and the best decision is to move her here to my house, so um, two dogs have now moved from the safe house to my house. Now, I've decided that she's going to stay in isolation because she can't mingle out the back with the other dogs with Snowy there and so forth at this present moment in time. So she's going to stay in isolation and this way then um, she can have a little bit of a rest and just spend some time by herself. I mean, she's been a really great mum. She's, you know, she's been very protective and busy at the safe house. I just want her to chill out for now. Um, so there's a huge plan that's been put together for her here with the help of the staff here which is great. 
um, this makes my decision a lot easier and they understand that you know it's going to be a pretty stringent plan for her you know uh, delivering her outside every two hours to go to the toilet spend some time in the sun control the other dogs at the back save them you know behind the gate and stuff like that so she doesn't have to mix with them and control them so that there's no anger uh aggressive uh altercations and stuff like that uh and also you know she 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 will have some time to herself to chill out and have a rest and she knows something's going on she's here with me now so it'll be all good So after two weeks we brought her back to the safe house again and that's when we raised her and her puppies up by ourselves. Ginger went into foster for about a year along with her puppies, with her babies. Her first puppy was adopted by a really nice guy who ended up taking her across through to Belgium. Her second puppy was then adopted locally here and her third puppy has been adopted also now for the last three or four years and his adopter and I keep in constant contact and I'm continually getting updates about Samson. Ginger unfortunately then got diagnosed with a first off skin cancer and then she ended up having cancer in her mouth as well and she managed to stay with us for another two years before she let us know it was time and she was ready to go she was very tired at that point Ginger would have been around nine years old and she had skin allergies as well which we, she was on constant um, lifelong medication for her skin never came back to be a hundred percent but we had to maintain that every day for her and she was happy she enjoyed the sun she enjoyed her life she enjoyed everything and we promised her at that time because her two puppies were still remaining with us that we would find her puppies a home so that they would never have to go through what she went through again And to this day, I still receive updates about her puppies, which really fills my heart with joy. I was really happy that I could fulfill my promise to Ginger about finding her dogs and her babies forever homes. And to this day, she will always be a core memory for me because she was a huge job and we saved four lives in one rescue. To watch more heartwarming videos of rescues and adoptions, please subscribe to our channel.